What's up, Sim Racers out there? It's Larry TJR Sim here, and today I'm going to be testing out, not testing, I've already played this game so many times, but as you can see, Project Cars 2, I started a new career mode, the uh, Formula Racing career mode, and I was just actually experiencing some really cool uh, effects with my motion rig, which is the Next Level Racing V3 platform. Uh, of course, hooked up, to, as you probably already know, my Symantec K2, and uh, I'm running, of course, the, uh, the Fnatic McLaren. 53 rim uh, with the SRM adapter, USB adapter, BNG connector. Easy peasy. Snaps right into place to my awesome Accu4 T2 uh, wheelbase. So, um, it's actually, I was having some really good experiences and I kept having this urge to go ahead and just start videoing it because some, someone out there is going to enjoy this. <laughs> and uh, the subtleties uh, in motion that you get and the subtleties you get in the uh, wheel itself is pretty great and it's really hard to explain that in a video uh, those little subtleties you get and stuff so I, I was out here on the track here uh, with my new career I started because I was just bored and I wanted to uh, hit up Project Cars 2 again I haven't played it in so long and uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun and the sway you get you know when your back end loses a little traction and stuff and you Feel that slight sway in the chair itself and the exaggerated sway. So if it's really stepping out on you, feel that sway. But it's so minute that, you know, when you have, have that sway, when it's just a gradual little step out of the back end, it's just a gradual sway in the, in, in the chair itself. So it's really cool feeling. And then you won't really probably, you may not even see it, but when I go over the little rough bumps and stuff on the track and stuff you, you feel that that motion just kick in uh picking up those little light vibrations of the suspension bouncing up and down on the track so really cool you don't necessarily need transducers to pick that up with this uh software that next level racing provides so oh, excuse me kids <laughs> and uh but so it's really cool the subtleties that you get oh i thought they were coming in the subtleties that you get in the uh, suspension setup. Now, I do run four transducers, and I really enjoy four, four transducers because, for one, you get the vibration of the engine, uh, and then uh, two, I also set it up to, excuse me, I got a little tickle on my nose, uh, to the, I like setting up the front and the rear, and of course, obviously, separately, uh, because when you're driving in on a real car, that's something you can relate to. You know, if you hit a pothole, really feel it, around your feet area, right? And then it transmits that vibration up to your your, your butt, uh, the seat of the pants feel, right? And uh, so having transducers up front really pick up that hard jolt when you actually finally have a hard jolt. But your normal daily road textures and stuff that you feel in a real car, you don't ever feel it in your feet. So I set them up to, uh, sensitive enough to just pick up the hard jolts, forget about the lighter ones and go from there. And that's all done through the Next Level Racing software. So, you know, these are the little idiosyncrasies, talk English here, uh, that you that you find as you start uh, setting up the uh, the software to your liking here on the track. So anyway, we'll go out here on a practice session here, and I'll try to uh, tell you what I feel when I'm out there on the track. But you should be able to see what I'm feeling for the most part, though. Anyway, lots of fun. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Uh, maybe not, but uh, we'll go out there to a practice session here, run a few little laps here. And actually, I'm going to do it in VR. Let me take my headset off there because I am running my Rift. And uh, it's a little hot in here. The things I go through, I have to turn off all my fans in here <laughs> uh, in the hot Texas weather to uh, minimize the extra... Uh, ambient uh sounds that this dang uh blue yeti picks up so anyway here we are vr and if you're curious i'm running for sound wise my astro a50s and hopefully my volume let me make sure my volume is nope not performance my audio is turned down pretty minimal so you can hear my verbiage over it. I had to turn off my transducers because this mic would pick them all up and it'd be really loud and obnoxious for you as the viewer 
And you can see as my sways are going, using my analogs, sequential shift with this car, because it has a little shifter right there, as you can see. It's really cool. Build all those little vibrations right there in this bumpy track. You can probably hear it in my voice. But the bumps, you feel that elevation change going up the hill. And then, of course, going down the hill and then back up the hill. And as you can see how I lost traction because I got some cold tires right now. But that's it's so intuitive. I mean, it's just like driving a real car. You can hear in my voice, of course, all these little micro bumps of this track texture uh, that is picking up. Oh yeah, I love that. That's not the optimal way through that corner, but it is so much fun to do. Uh, and it's very easy to do, actually. Just coming around the corner here. It seems like I am getting a few little frame drops here running full screen, uh, but hopefully it comes out in the video looking good for you. You may not see it, I may just be seeing it in my headset. Yep, these little micro, and these little bumps and stuff that you feel on this track. You can't see the dang things, but you can certainly feel them. But you know, what you experience with the motion, and then of course, you know, you feel the same thing. Oh, locked up the front tires, as you can tell. I love VR. Look back and see who's there. Uh, anyway, the AccuForce, because of course, does a great job picking it all up as well. Even considering that Project Parts 2 has some questionable force feedback. But some of these cars are dialed in really good, and why I mess up that corner again? You know? But yeah, this is just a fun track here to run on. See that slight, that slight movement there. It probably looks bigger in the camera. Now these little, that, that rough patch right there, I don't feel it in the motion. I felt it in the wheel when I come out of the rough patch, but some of these hard vibrations that you'd feel with the curve and this stuff, you'll actually feel for the front transducers and your wheel, of course, as well. It's all in unison. It, all that little bump right there, I feel that rear end suspension bump and just, just through that whole corner, even through here, just going nuts on me here. And you probably see some of it, but I guarantee you, you feel more than you're actually seeing as you you as the viewer. I'll take two hands on this puppy. So much fun. <laughs> if you have not experienced motion with VR and a direct drive wheel, you don't even have to have a direct drive wheel, but you don't have to have any of it. Actually, you can just play with a Logitech and still be fast and uh, and have fun. But if you're further along in your sim racing hobby, I do recommend a motion platform. Uh, and I particularly like this one here, the next level racing. It seems to just pick up things so, so good. Man, all those little bitty vibration bumps you get there, it's just remarkable. Some tracks you go on, you don't feel that, and you're like, man, I wish you could feel some more of this stuff. And that's just because it's only going to pick up whatever is scanned in the track. So if the track is smooth as butter, that's what it's picking up, as smooth as butter. This track is fairly bumpy because it is a typical USA track where they, where they run really bumpy. <laughs> tracks that are probably buttery smooth and not as buttery smooth as it used to be when it was first created would probably be uh, an awesome track that just came about about five years ago something like that so but all these other ones are pretty dang worn in you can see the little sealer in the uh, tracks where they're filling all the cracks and stuff so yeah Anyway, pretty fun with motion, VR, and direct drive wheels.
<laughs> it's just goodness, man. This is how I zen out. I relax in the evening times. You have a hard day at work or something. Not even a hard day, but you know, most of your life is spent at work. And you should come home to something that uh, will relax your brain and be a lot of fun and engaging. And that's what motion gives you. Sure, you can just use the controller to race games. And that's a lot of fun as well. Once you step up to playing with motion, and uh, only got 1.3 gallons of gas here. Once you start playing with motion and high end wheels and high end pedals, which I am running the Fnatic V3 pedals right now with the brake mod kit in them from Fnatic, which I do recommend that kit. I did not do a review on that kit because so many other bigger channels have already done a review. I didn't feel like it'd bring anything more to the table. It would just be repetitive to get views from my channel. But it's something you already know. Woo, yeah! <laughs> that gradual and then coming right back is so freaking engaging. I love these little bumps in this track. The bumpy ass track. Oh no. Lost it. So let's go to a qualifying session real quick. Uh, so you return to pit box, skip to end. Oh no, I was in qualifying. Huh, forgot. I had canceled out. Do a race. Oh shit, I'm first. 11 laps. Of the career, I didn't realize I was in qualifying. But it was in practice. Still there. <laughs> Still fun. Oh, he gave me a little love tap. And I'm gone. You really got to turn up when Project Cars 2, you got to really turn up the AI pretty high if you're, if you're in the qualifying really high. And I hadn't played this thing in a year, so I just put it at like 80%. I should be running around 100% because uh, apparently not as bad as I thought it might be. <laughs> but if you do qualify, a lot of times what I do is I'll set the AI down low like 80 90 percent 90 percent and i'll just fixate myself to start further in the back of the pack because it's a lot more fun passing the cars and stuff oh goodness gracious and you can feel these big jolts of course in the motion and course you see it on your right corner See, with a uh, open wheel car like this, it's not like you get a lot of body sway naturally. It's fairly flat, but uh, that's okay. You can actually turn up the motion to get more body body sway in it if you want it to. Roll, I'm, I'm trying to refer to just for normal turning. Although that's a little bit unrealistic, but you could do it because that's something you like. So you did it. Because you can relate to it as a real world car. Oh, that's so bumpy through there. Started in first, quickly went to the back. Come on, this guy's a bit our way. Big push now, let's find our way past. I don't care, I'm just having fun. quiet through there but you feel all the little bumps in your wheel all the little bumps in your motion it's really amazing you feel the front end slide through the act of course and the tires locked up it's pretty cool
love the uh, trans. Uh, On your right. Be careful, concentrating. As you go up the hill and then down the hill, I love that transition. This is a short enough track that's enough going on. I thought it would be okay for a video uh, to show you because, you know, you make laps fairly quickly in this one. And it's bumpy through the front wheel. And, it, of course, it translates to the motion itself. But you get the settings right, and it's not very hard to do, actually. Less is more, usually. Um, it has such a synchrony between the two. It's just really phenomenal. And I know my FPS is a little low right now. I will tell you that, I don't know what it's sitting on right now. It feels like it's around, uh, through this busy area, it will drop down around 40-ish. Most of the time it's running at 80 FPS. Uh, if I'm not recording. Still there, right side. Whoa! I was trying not to hit that car. <laughs> Didn't know if he was going to allow me enough room through there. I went to a little bit wider transition. On oh, the seventh lap already, guys. This is what's fun about motion and, and VR and direct drive builds all put together is that you finish a race before you know it and you're like, man, I want more. And there we are, we're over. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Get my headset off here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, it's hot in here with this uh, no fan on. Anyway, just a look at uh, Motion Rig, Next Level Racing V3. Check it out. They actually even have a higher-end setup uh, that, that I have as far as where it takes the front end moving and the back end moving uh all together it's their traction plus setup and stuff uh this isn't sponsored by them or anything like that i just wanted to talk about it and show you some experiences and stuff so no matter whatever motion rig you get you know, whether you get this is a 2df two degrees of freedom or if you want to get a uh, three degrees or five or seven or however big your pocketbook is uh, for that I, I think you actually have a good time if you're looking for immersion of course add in your nice direct drive wheel you know, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. Fnatic, Anki4, Semicube, uh, those are really the top three uh, right now. That's actually uh, affordable for most, I think, or, or those are your three choices to go with. So, uh, but whatever one you like, pick it, run it, enjoy it, learn to set it up correctly uh, in unison with each other. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions for setups and stuff, you know, let me know. I'll shoot you over mine as well. I do have it on a Google Drive already. It uh, should be in the description down below uh, or is my Google Draw for you to be able to go and pull some of the setups that I already have out there. Of course, obviously, AccuForce, uh, if you're using AccuForce, that is already uploaded into the system. So anyway, check it next time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a great Sunday, and I am out. <laughs>